Well, that hot weather definitely keeping a lot of that cloud convection suppressed across the entire Concho Valley as we see some of those high clouds pushing in from this strong low pressure system moving over the Rocky Mountains. But it's only going to drop us down into the 90s as we make our way through this week. High pressure definitely on its way. Looking at the temperature change under that high pressure going down into those 70s gradually last night. Then we shot up to 105, but actually 107. And we're down about 20 degrees right now at that 90 degree mark. High pressure definitely allowing us to cool off pretty quickly before we warm right back up into those triple digits by tomorrow. Looking at the temperatures across the entire Concho Valley, 90 here in San Angelo. Everybody else joining us in a combination of those mid to lower 80s. And we're still looking for that 10 degree spread, but it's only between San Angelo and Sterling City right now at that 10 degree mark but Sterling City 81 88 down there in Junction pretty close right now as we see some of those gustier winds out of the south pushing some of that humidity into our region but some areas still holding on to a lot of those drier temperatures dew points at 27 up there in Sterling City while the humidity indice is only at 10 percent up from that 2 percent while down to the southeast dew points have gone up into those 70s and they're pushing past that halfway mark across the southeast where a lot more of that severe weather is pushing through Dallas as we make our way through the rest of this week. Here's the upper level pattern that we're talking about. Here's the high pressure that's going to build in. You're going to see it form a pretty interesting omega blocking pattern. That's where we're seeing this low pressure really lock in over the east coast while we're seeing that high pressure get settled in nice and comfortable here on the west coast and that's what's going to push us up into those triple digits. Water vapor showing you where that dry air is making its way in from near Baja while that low pressure system that's going to push in some light cloud cover by tomorrow is going to move in over those rocky mountains and of course that giant storm barreling over the border right now of Texas and Arkansas. While we're watching the moisture tracker push a lot of this moist air off towards the east keeping it well clear of the Concho Valley as things calm down as we get closer and closer to Father's Day. You only have about two weeks. Here's the severe weather outlook still just targeting parts of East Texas into Louisiana. And we take a good look at the satellite going to mirror the water vapor shot as we still see this large mesocyclone move off towards the east with a lot of that flash flooding. There's a good look at the mess moving across the Rocky Mountains. And of course, here in the Concho Valley, Nothing but a few high clouds as things cool off tonight into those 70s. But the future cast is going to show you how things really stay out of the way. Going to watch these storms rip off towards the east and then they're going to try to fight their way into the Concho Valley. But they run into a lot of that dense moist air and push off right towards the east into Oklahoma. We might see some light cloud cover by Wednesday, but things are still going to be in those triple digits. So tonight we're dropping back down into the 70s, still holding on to a lot of that southerly flow, looking for the humidity. Then tomorrow, right back up into those triple digits. So good breaks, lots of water, plenty of sunblock. Make sure you're being safe out there because right out of severe weather season, right into that hot, hot weather as we make our way through this week. And as we continue to make our way towards the middle of the week, if not the weekend, that's where that low pressure system is going to push in from the northwest. That's going to drop us down into those 90s while we're seeing those lows comfortably in those 70s. And we're going to continue to stay in those hot temperatures well past that first week of June and making our way into that second week of June as we get closer and closer towards Father's Day. Stay tuned. We'll have the break. You're watching KSAN News at 10.